everybody, Ed here, Grizzly Taco, and today I'm going to show you how to make my fishing buckets. And this is something that you can use to hold your poles, and you can put water in there, and you can put your live bait, you can catch your fish and put them in there also. And uh, it's a pretty cool system. I've been doing this for over probably 35 years. Where it started, I have no clue. I've just been doing it for a long time. It's the way I go fishing. I take this with me. You can put your stuff in there when you're carrying it down to the lake or stream or whatever and uh, it holds two poles and I'm going to show you how to make one today. Right now I'm just going to show you a little stuff on this. Oops, sorry. So basically that's the bucket. It's a five gallon bucket and I've got some one and a half PVC in there that holds the rods and fit in there just beautifully. If uh, I've got a bolt down here, and that's the stopper for it. But, like on this side, the pulls a little short, so the reel itself holds it. The nice thing about this is, if you catch a fish, and it pulls, you can see that the bucket's not going anywhere, because I put water in here. That's the weight to the bucket. So, you don't want it to you don't want these things leaning down too much because I've had a problem with when I first made it where it went flying out. I got it just right over the years and it's worked perfectly. So if the fish catches on, as you can see, it just pulls. The bucket's not going anywhere. It'll hold about three, three and a half gallons of water. And then you can see here, I've got about a gallon and a half of water in there right now, but you can see what I mean. It's awesome for fishing. And what I do is because I can't bend, I usually put my stringer on here, throw it into the river or whatever, fill it with water, and then pull it up by this. You know what I mean? Just through there around this. And when I catch fish, rather than drum, just drop them in there, I actually put them on here and then leave it in the water because that way at the end, when they're still alive, it's not so hard to catch them. This is the bucket that we're going to do today. Thought you guys might like that. Alright, so just thought I'd take a few more shots. And I actually kind of improved on this a little bit. I actually, over the years, started adding this extra pipe. And I put my pliers or whatever in there. This one goes clean through. The other one has a bottom on it, so I can put stuff in there if I don't want it to drop through. See how whoops fishing poles go in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and make one. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is find about the center here. And I just use the handle just to take somewhat of a guess. Hmm. Okay, because so we don't want the pipes going here where they're gonna block this thing from doing its job. The pipes are going to go here on the sides. Turn it the right way. So I want six inches up. You can 
do more or less, whatever you, whatever you want. Okay. So, the first hole we drill is going to be here, that mark that we made. And it's going to go through the top ring of the bucket. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm drilling to the other side. Kind of finding my mark over here. Right here. 
another tray on this side. The nice thing about it, where these holes are, where the, the, the bolts are, there's a little wedge there. So you can put that right on there. You can keep your tackle there, your water and your fish and stuff down there, and baby, you are good to go. So, tell me what you think. Let me know if you want to make one. The cost for this one, probably about 12 bucks, because I didn't have any of the bolts and stuff, so I had to go out and buy everything new. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick thing. I'm not going to put it all together. I hate making long videos. You guys know how to do this side now. Just do the opposite. Alright, take care. Later.